Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between South Africa and Zimbabwe. We're expecting a good game between both of these teams. And that's not because I made that, you can say, crazy prediction of Zimbabwe going to the semis. But I feel like they have some pacers who can pose a challenge to South Africa. Yes. And I have Nikhil Bai with me today to hold you through who he feels are the World Cup champions of this year. Truly, I think Denba will do a finch and win the World Cup this year. But uh, I think they have to keep playing well. Uh, I think this tournament has already shown us that uh, it doesn't matter where you are ranked in the season hmm. or uh, overall. It has to be on the day. If you're not able to do well, I don't think it's going to make a difference. That Whatever your name is, the game is what is doing the talking. So, I think Zimbabwe are going to suppress a lot of opponents with their base bowling. And hmm. I can't wait to see that out. To be very honest. Yes, totally. And we'll discuss venue conditions in a jiffy. We've already discussed them in detail in the first preview of the day. So we won't disturb too much of your time. But yes, we'll discuss it quickly for you. So like we discussed in the first preview, we're expecting some rain here. And we're mostly even expecting a shortened game unless miraculously the weather suddenly clears up. And as far as the pitch is concerned, we have seen that it's been good for teams that are batting first and second innings. The cutters and the spinners seem to get some hold. Absolutely. I think it's a good thing that toss independent games. So, hmm. you are in the game no matter if you win the toss or you the toss. <laughs> so, whatever you do, you have to do well. So, if you look at that, the spin, ko pe, I don't think it's so much fun. Of course, Manadu Hasalama is a different class, so we can take it and give it. But unke alawa, it's always been the Pacers. And hmm. of course, and unless your name is Sekandaraza, then you can do anything. Uh, so yes, let's not forget that. But that's the thing, you know, South Africa have a lot of lefties. Hmm. Ideal game for a 5 for Wolves. Yes, let's look at that and whether it's going to happen. But uh, before that, let's look at the leaderboard, which is ready and waiting for you. And all you need to do is join that contest and you get a chance to win some of these crazy prizes. And because it's a rain expected day, I think it's a good yeah. chance for you to do some imaginary thinking and put in some differential thoughts to move ahead in the leaderboard. Bilkul. I think we discussed this in the previous uh, uh, review as well that when there is rain, you will not want to take too much risk with your investments because you don't want to lose your money because some other team is going to decide that, okay, today we'll do even more Jamaica than we normally do. Anyone will bat anywhere, anybody will go anywhere. So, usme it doesn't make sense to use your small league investment, but great game then for granted because then even a small call could actually win you a handsome prize and in all leaderboards, not just one. So, please make the most of that advantage. And yes, I'll say if you want to invest, invest once you know the number of overs and who is going to do what. Yes, absolutely. So, on that note, let's look at our base team for this game. So, you can see the captain, vice captain, the base team on your screen. Remember to hit the like button for some good luck so that another base team cracks it. But in the keeping section, we have gone with Quinton de Kock and two batters, Riza Hendricks and Ryan Burl. Any other temptation from these sections, Nikhil Bhai? Maybe Riley Rousseau or the likes? Stubbs? Yeah, again, uh, as I said, I got rain shorted game, eh? so you'd want to take in Miller as well. You'd want to take uh, hmm. Tristan Stubbs because then they are likely to get higher up the order. Promoted. And you hmm. may not see, yeah, so you may not see the traditional anchors up top. So hmm. that is something to watch out for. Obviously, this is made assuming we have a full game. But mm. uh, yes, I think this would be the base team could look completely different if it's a short of game. So you will have options with Riley and everybody uh, who you think can be bad can be batting higher up your Yes, and any thoughts on Stubbs and his chances to bowl? Because Makram seems like the first off spinning choice for them, even though uh, Zimbabwe have a lot of left handers. Uh, I don't, I think we've only seen him bowl in the 100. If I'm not mm. wrong, I don't think we've seen him enough otherwise. So, hmm. I don't know if they're looking at him as an option like that. And Makram has bowled quite regularly at, hmm. in, at, at different levels. So, maybe Ma Makram might remain their first choice. But again, if it's rain shorter, I'm going to expect their pacers only to do the job. 
and Magram might come in only for a specific, very specific matchup. Maybe bold to Craig Arvain and Sean Williams is their back mm. together. But then the kind of pace attack that South Africa has, you would hope they that that's not so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you may not want to meet them. Right, and in the all-rounders, we have gone Wayne Parnell, Aiden Makram, Raza, who has to be your captain, and Sean Williams. While the four bowlers are Engidi, Noke, Rabada, who's vice captain, and Blessing Muzrabani. So we have pretty much covered important South African pace options. Nikhil, why yeah. would you have any temptation to take any extra Zimbabwean pacer? And if yes, then in most place. Yeah, I think if you see right now, the team looks heavily stacked in favor of uh, South Africa because this made assuming South Africa bat uh, bowl first. This is where you try to cover most of their options and their top order as well. But if it's the reverse case, then you can easily drop people like uh, Wayne Parnell. You could drop Lumi Nagidi as well. Again, mm. this is assuming you don't see them make an impact in the second weeks. And then mm. you can replace them with Chatara and Richard and Garba as well because then they are also going to bowl well. They are all tall. You don't always need the pace. Mm. There is enough help from the surface to get those early wickets. And then if Zimbabwe bowl first, I am in for a very good game. But then South Africa are my contenders for the World Cup. So I would not want a bad game for them. Right, that's a very fair call. And uh, that wraps up the base team for us. And now let's look at the Golden Grand League option from Nikhil Pai. Go for it, sir. I think it's a very, very tricky game to uh, call. Purely because on the, on the amount of rain that is forecast. And if it's a very hmm. short-term game, then uh, even one or two overs can really make or break uh, your entire setup and then that makes it very very tricky but i'd still say if somebody like a shamshi plays uh, then no he could... <laughs> why no. not that is my pick <laughs> oh, i see great that is great so okay i'll keep i'll i'll, I'll keep shamshi for him i have another even more risky <laughs> pick that's uh, wesley madere uh, now Again, he could not do anything, but mm. he could potentially do a lot, make a lot of impact if it's a very short-term game. Because uh, I've seen him enough in the national T20 leagues that he plays, and even whenever he plays for Zimbabwe, he has those days where you know he take two, three wickets and then come up the order and bash the bowling around and get a good score. So, Shamshi to Lelia, so he can play less than and yes, now that you know the Grand League pick for me already, one thing to keep in mind is that I'll back Shamsi for that role only if it's like a 13 over or longer game. If it's yeah. going to be 10 overs or lesser, then no, because then we don't know when, when he's going to bowl, if he's going to bowl at all, if he has one bad over, will he get a chance yeah. again? So keeping all those things in mind, yes, if it's longer than 13, 14 overs, then uh, Shamsi would be that guy for me. But good, we finally have one Grand League pick that's called. That's good to see. Yes, finally, after after a while of trying to match them. But yeah. uh, yes, we hope that uh, you have a good set of games tomorrow. And don't be surprised that the jersey giveaway is not mentioned here. It's going to be in the first game of each day, except for India games. So if you're not seen the first preview yet, go do that right now and answer that jersey giveaway question. And we hope all of you have a great game. Bill Gohan also tells you that this is not scripted. We are genuine and that's what we see and that's what we see. So, yes, please keep continuing your great feedback and have a good time. Have a